Hello and welcome to a new type of video. This is a review. Um, it, it's relatively new. I have done movie reviews. Um, they'll be in the playlist this is in if you wanted to check them out. Um, also, I might do more. Who knows? Um, this is on Lord of the Rings Gollum, as you may know from the, uh, from the title of the video. It's not good. That's, I've started off with that, it's not, not good, not good at all, it's, yeah, disappointing would be a word to describe it, um, I guess if, if you really wanted me to, I could give it one word to describe it, I'll spell it out for you, S-A-W-F-T, soft, um, yeah, it's, not a good game it's not a good game it's a game that I thought no matter how bad it is the fact that it's Lord of the Rings will carry me through it it did not it did not by the time I got to the end of the game which I have finished the videos are going up on the channel every weekend two videos a week so Tune in to them if you want to experience the game. Um, definitely don't buy it. It's not worth your money. Um, yeah, you'd be better off watching people play it and then laughing at them for buying the game. So it's it's a platforming game, right? Where you've got a you have a platform. It fails to do that. Um, it's a stealth game that fails to make stealth any fun whatsoever it's a game that running it on the xbox series x what it is optimized to run at it stutters and crashes um it it crashed that many times that i would i'd be playing the game it'll crash okay whatever it's a new game they do that sometimes. However, then you load the game back up, you hit continue on the main menu, and it will crash. So then you load it back up again, you hit continue again, and it crashes. And it does that for who knows how long. It might be five minutes, could be ten minutes, could only take you one, continue. It's... How does a game do that? How does a game get put out in such a state that it cannot be played because it will crash when trying to load the game? Like, you don't even get into the game. It just crashes. It, yeah, it's horrible. I know that the developers have put out a statement saying that it's not up to scratch, but... This game isn't even close. Like, I've I've finished it, obviously, and sure, you can finish the game. However, I've never played that game again. Doesn't matter how many patches they put into it, doesn't matter how much better they make it. I'm not playing that game again. Um, even the way that they've like they get words wrong they even spell it wrong with subtitles like they've got a book to reference to get the words right and they don't um the dlc right i got dlc for it right because so i was you know i thought this game let's let's do this game properly let's get the deluxe edition or whatever, so I gave me DLC. You get the moats pack for a single player game, so it doesn't make any difference having the emotes. Like, I could have just shown the emotes off on the video and then never touched them again. I didn't even do that, so I haven't touched them at all. Um, you can... You can turn Cinderin on... So the elves will speak Cinderin. That doesn't 
mean anything to those who don't know what Lord of the Rings are. Um, and it doesn't mean anything to anybody because nobody speaks fluent Sindarin because it's a language that's not real. So the elves are speaking Sindarin, so you sit there going, I don't know what you're saying. Doesn't does it help for a video though, does it? No, I don't. So yeah, it's the the DLC was just stupid. You've got a moat for a single player game, so nobody can see them, and you've got a language like elves can speak a language that nobody else speaks, so you can't understand them. Like it doesn't matter where in the world you're from. You will not understand it. It's not like it's an English game. It is like you, you just speak Russian. It's not like that. Nobody in the world will understand it. Apart from those who actually study Sindarin. But even then I think they could struggle. Because who knows how well they translated it into the game. I would imagine they probably just put sounds together and went that'll do. One of the things that pissed me off the most was the crashing of the game. Like, it was fine for the first few hours. I got, I don't know how many chapters in. And then it crashed on me for the first time. And then it was fine for a while. Then it crashed again. But then it was fine for a while. Shorter while. And then it crashed again. And then it crashed again. Then it crashed again. That it crashed again. At one point, I managed to record a 12 second video because it loaded back in from the last crash and then crashed again. But that's, you know, it's, it's a game that's been put out, ready to play, that crashes without even playing the game. It's horrible. It, this game, yeah, don't buy it. Do not buy this game. I don't care if they patch it. Yeah, if you really want to buy it, I guess I can't stop you from buying it. I would suggest not. Doesn't matter in 10 years' time, you know, after they've fixed everything or haven't fixed everything. If you want to buy it in 10 years' time, I don't care. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. It's honestly not. It's it's a piss poor game. You can argue that Assassin's Creed Unity or WWE 2K20, yeah, 2K20, uh, were bad, right? You, you can say those were bad. They experienced a lot of uh, a lot of the sort of same issues you know like they, they were very buggy and everything like this game had people talking that weren't there i got lucky at one point where they loaded in for the actual gameplay part um until the very end where they didn't load in which also meant that a door didn't open so i couldn't progress so then i had to quit the game which then meant when I tried to load in, it crashed. What the hell? I never experienced anything like this in 2K23. At uh, 2K20 even. I didn't experience 2K23 either. But in WWE 2K20, right, everybody said, piece of shit. You know, I sort of found it alright. The story was bad. The, the career mode was bad. Um... But other than that, I didn't see any of the um, any of the bugs really, which is weird. But you know, whatever. Um, Assassin's Creed Unity. I don't know if I played that when it released. I can't remember, but I remember seeing a few bugs here and there. It wasn't too bad though. Like it didn't really impact my thoughts on the game. You know, it's just not there was a bug there. Oh well. It's fine. But this game, this game actively impacted the game with its bugs. Like I said, there was somebody who didn't load in, also didn't open a door. 
So I had to, but I couldn't progress. This game was released without, without it being in releasable form. It was, it shouldn't have been released. It was just horrible. But I get that they were going to release it a while ago, but then they thought, no, we, it's not ready to be released. So then they held it back. But it, it needed to be held back even longer. It wasn't asking people to buy a game that's not ready to be played is horrible for the people that buy the game. And it's also like a dick move. Here, buy our game. It should be good. But hang on, it's not finished yet. But it should be good. Buy it. I mean, if you did that with, I don't know, food, there'd be an issue. Buy my food. It's not ready to be eaten yet. But it should be good when it is. But you can buy it now and have it now. Come back later when it's finished as well. There'd be issues. I mean, you, you literally take what they did and you put it into other contexts. You know, not a good game. Very disappointed with it. I thought that the fact that it's Lord of the Rings would help it. No. The story is... Yeah, there's a story to it. I'm, yeah. I mean, there were some fun bits. Getting getting the, the dude killed was fun. I made a bird. Um, that was about all I can remember of what the story was, really. Like, I mean, I got captured by, by the Nazgul. Um, yeah, there was an old dude at one point. He was, like, very high up in Gondor. It, as you can see, it's not. But the story was fine, I guess. He got you from point A to point B. There was nothing to it though. I, yeah. Like, they had such a, a good, like, right. The whole thing with Gollum is that we don't know what happens, right? From the time that Bilbo takes the ring to the time that, uh, he is captured by Aragorn and taken to Mirkwood. We don't know what happens. We know that Sauron gets him. That's it. Right, all they needed to do was keep it canon for where they needed to keep it canon. And then they could do anything. Yet they didn't. They made a game that didn't make sense. It was just, like, like I said, you make a bird at one point. That's all, like, that. that's a, a decent part of the level, is making a bird. But, you could do so many other things with it. Make a bird. You have to herd animals. not very enthralling, it's not very fun. To make that bird you had to look at a painting and then interpret what that meant. And the paintings weren't in obvious spots. The first one was, yes, but the other two were not. You had to actually explore to find them. Um, it's... It was a disappointment, this game. They made you, they made a game where they could do anything and they did nothing with it. Compare this to something like Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War, where they're in the same spot, right? They're, they're in Mordor. 
it's night and day how different they are, right? I get that Gollum isn't going to fight Finch. Not the way that, not the way that Talion would. But it's Gollum, so he can do other things, and he will fight them if he has to. Like, Gollum could very much like Assassin's Creed, stealth kill. But, yeah, no. It's, it's just a bad game. Don't buy it. Um, like, share, subscribe, channel, hit notification bell. Follow Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links are in the description. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of Gollum if you've played it. Um, let me know if I should do more of these reviews in the comment section. And on that, thanks for watching. Goodbye and good night.